better if you hold the key. I wanna get rid of the pink stuff I threw at you. Less. Cool. However you can see less, that's what I want. Yeah. Well, that's all the way zoomed in. <laughs> you can just say that. I know, but it's you can still see all of me, right? Yeah. Okay, that's what I thought. I'm ready. Hey Healthway friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we have another unboxing. I know. You guys are like, oh my god, Ashley, we get it. You have plants. But listen, people sent me these. These are both from a patron who messaged me and she was like, Hey Ash, I really want to buy you something as a graduation gift. Can you just tell me what kinds of plants you're interested in? So I told her. I thought she was buying me one plant, but she sent me two. So thank you so much, Miranda. And this is from Ill Exotics. This is something I didn't know that I was getting. I have no idea what is in any of these boxes. The addresses that you see on these two boxes are my P.O. box. So unless you want to send me a meal to my P.O. box, those aren't interesting. But yeah, I'm really excited, uh, particularly about this because he got my address and said he was just sending me a kit for taking care of plants. Then he told me he sent me a plant. Thank you so much, Ill Exotics and Miranda. And I'm really excited to open these up and figure out what the heck is going on. I literally came home from the store today and I saw this outside and I was like, Chris, surprise mail. And then I didn't know these were coming too, so. I'm just really excited. Thank you everyone who is so proud of me for graduating college and is deciding to send me all these awesome plants. I'm just so blown away by how many people care about me in this community and it's just really nice to have friends. And then Chris, any reactions that you have are all, always welcome. If you're like, oh, what's that? Or, wow, cool. Don't cut yourself. Cut you. I'm too far away. Too far away. <laughs> Anyone who plays WoW on Alliance will know what that is. Unless you've never encountered a dwarf before doing nerd talk. Nerd talk. <laughs> These are, I have, I don't have good scissors in this house. I asked Christopher for a knife. I don't think you know how to use them. And he gave me scissors and so, um, it's not my fault. <laughs> what? <laughs> I landed on her. And she oh, it did? Freaked out. So this first one is from Phoenix, Arizona. We have a plant, obviously. It says for Ash. Okay, well, it just spoiled what it is, but. Ash, I'm so proud to call you a friend. I hope this makes it to you okay and it makes your day brighter or maybe even your week. With love, Miranda. Miranda, thank you so much. And I'm very excited. <laughs> I was about to take a nap. I was like, you know, Chris, I think I'm just gonna take a nap. We'll film later. But this then I is was where like, Ashley films when she's tired. You can yeah. see she's on the couch. Like, I literally in the sat blanket. here and I was like, Chris, can you go grab my camera and my battery and turn on the lights and bring me everything? And I just sat here and Chris loves me so much. He just did it. All right. Oh my goodness. It looks so good. So Miranda sent me a heart leaf. That's How kind of cool. cool is that? That's cool. Isn't look, that sick? It looks like peppers. Like, it looks like peppers? Yeah, they look like green peppers. It looks peppers. like hearts. No, they look like green peppers. It's called a Hartley fern. Yeah, I can see the hearts, but like peppers. <laughs> I have been talking about wanting one of these for a super, super long time. That's cool. Oh no, we had a casualty. Oh. I've been talking about wanting one of these for a super long time, so... I'm super happy to have one. They only really sell these in Portland. I haven't been able to find anyone in Boise that sells these or like even around this area. Oh my gosh, Chris, look, the new leaves come in through the old ones. Do you see right here? There's a new leaf growing on the other leaf. Oh, wow, that's really cool. Can the camera see it? That's so cute. <laughs> Look at that, she's adorable. Miranda, thank you! Fix and your shirt. What? Fix your shirt. Fix your shirt. It's like drooping off you. <laughs> what do you mean? Fix it. How? Pull it back. No, like pull it back, like fix your shirt. Chris, it's a shirt. There you go. It's midnight. No, it's 10. You're filming to an audience of like 10,000 people. Yeah, but they all know it's chill here. Don't look frumpy. Don't look frumpy. <laughs> Words from my fiance. Don't look frumpy. 
I almost dropped it. <laughs> this is from the plant farm. The plant farm? The plant farm. Who's the plant farm? Uh, Miranda sent this to me, but the plant farm is a houseplant shop in Seattle. Oh, wow. Well, it's not in Seattle, but I think it's in Spokane, Washington. That variegated peperomia over there. Uh, Which one? It's okay. The plant in the white and brown pot next to my string of hearts on the floor, on the second to top shelf. White and brown. Oh, I see it. Yeah. It's that thing. That little pot on the right. Mm -hmm. That came from the plant farm. Well, you bought that for me. Oh my god, it's a shirt! Proud plant addict. <laughs> that is so great. Thank you so much, Miranda. It's a good shirt. A gift for you to enjoy from Miranda. Miranda. Thank you for the Hartley fern in the shirt. As you can tell, I really like to wear green. That's a really cool shirt, though. Yep, Spokane Plant Farm. Awesome, thank you so much. Wait, hold it open. Awesome, and she got me a medium too. I really like my shirts bigger than normal. Now we have these, these, this mystery box from Ill Exotics. I'm very excited because they have some sick plants. I've worked with Ill Exotics in the past. We've done a giveaway together twice, I think. And then also, uh, they're the ones that I got my white princess from. And they're the ones who gave me my Alocasia Dragon Scale Bulb. So they're just incredible. Are these just a bunch of plants? Okay, I'm gonna read this letter later. It's a personalized letter. No, read it now. No, 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 because it might tell me what's in it. Oh. Are these just a bunch of plants? Did you just send me plants? Uh oh, hell yeah. I had been needing one of these. That looks like a big old sandwich from Subway. <laughs> this, I can just pull it out like a hot dog. <laughs> it's a moss pole, baby. Oh, hell yeah. I've been needing one of these so bad. That thing looks like it's just covered in bugs. It's not. You're dripping it all over the couch. Yeah, I'm gonna vacuum. <laughs> Look at my hot dog, or corn dog. <laughs> this is a fun unboxing, Stop what the heck? swinging it around. You can <laughs> vacuum, yeah, but not the entire <laughs> world. <laughs> she just Goes back into her cave. <laughs> okay, awesome. So we got a pole. A pole. <laughs> One hot dog. But is this soil? Is this just soil? I'm scared. It is. But it's in a bag. It doesn't wow. say what kind of soil this is. Gotta be like the only person that gets sent dirt and is like, oh my god, <laughs> dirt. Thank you for the dirt. <laughs> oh, well, hell yeah. It's a hanging plant. Are ready, Chris? I like their logo. <sighs> they just know me so well. Like chameleons. All right, you guys. Oh, there's dirt all in the bottom of yeah, that. Yeah, I know. I got a vacuum, all right? Leave me alone. Uh, we live in the dirt. It's going to be a week. This Can house will have a just that? dirt spot in it. A box full of dirt that you put All right, are you guys side. ready to see this? I know what it is because I saw, but I love it when people know what I like. And I Use love it. Use the scissors. I got you scissors. It's still recording, right? Yeah. Okay. Like it says recording. Yeah. Sometimes it just stops recording. So. It's recording. I am. <laughs> okay. Proud. Oh, one of those things. Yeah! What do you mean one of those things? I don't know the name of it, but... It's philodendron mites. Ah. And it lost, like, all of the soil. Rough. It was supposed to have. Chris, don't swear. I'm edited out. It's on our floor now. <laughs> That's what I do when I swear, I just repeat everything. Okay, it's impossible for me to show you guys this plant. It's got so much loose dirt in here. It's, hold on. How is that impossible to show I'm the plant? I'm handing this off to you. Put it on the floor, please. Mm -hmm. This is Philandrum Mikens, and it is probably one of my favorite houseplants ever. It did lose like all of its 
soil, so I'm definitely going to have to repot it, but soil, yeah, we got extra soil. They knew. <laughs> They're like, we'll just send her with some. This is such a sweet little graduation gift and quarantine present. I know that they sent these out to a bunch of other people, so you guys might see other people be getting little care packages from Ill Exotics, but I cannot believe I get to have one of these amazing corn dogs. Look at this. I'm probably gonna give it to my Monstera Albo. What does it really do? So plants that have aerial roots like to cling onto moss and it'll make them grow larger. Like see my Adamaquancy over there has a cocoa choir pole, but it's not the best, moss is better. Mm. So I can give this to my Albo and my Albo leaves will grow bigger. It's like giving your Pokemon Stop smiling items. with the giant rod. Anyways, that was this unboxing. I'm so excited to have another Mikeins because literally, oh, I have four now. Because I have the little one from Ariam and then the two from She Who Shall Not Be Named and then this one from Ill Exotics. I think that's fine. My little makeshift tripod. Hi, welcome back. I filmed an outro for that part, but uh, surprise. So the box that you're seeing me mess with right now is actually not going to be in the video. I was sent uh, this box by a company to review on my channel, but honestly, the plants came in such terrible condition. The only plant that came in good condition was an air plant, and obviously, of course, it's going to. But I just didn't feel right even putting it in the video like it's a downer i messaged the company and i told them i wouldn't be sharing it and we're working out maybe doing something different i guess um they're trying to do something different with their packaging now and it just totally failed so um it's not their fault they're doing something new they're a very very popular brand which is just why this was so weird that there was just like a fluke. So anyways, on to the next package. So this might be subscriber mail, but this could also be something else. I know someone else is sending me a plant um, from their Etsy shop, but I, they, I don't know what their name is, so. Ashley, I've truly enjoyed being a part of our community and I can't thank you enough for such an amazing place for us to come together as one big family, not just for the plants, but for everything else that's on our minds and in our lives. You are an amazing person with love, Miranda. So this is a subscriber, they're, but they're also a patron. And I think, this is crazy, look at this packaging. They like wedged it. That's crazy. They wedged it in there really, really nicely. It's a pink maiden hair fern. Oh. This is way too nice. My oh. patrons know that, you guys don't, because I tell my patrons more just because I talk to them all the time. But. Um, I had a pink maiden hair fern. I purchased it. I'm pretty sure that was the source of my thrips. So, um, it was the most, it had the most strip damage out of everything else, and I don't, it, the fern was also just doing bad. So, I ended up tossing it, and I brought that up to my patrons, and I was like, you guys, I got bad news, rest in pieces. Yeah. So, I think she sent me this because I mentioned that mine had died. Mm -hmm. So this is adorable. It's gonna be hard to see, but this is literally the tiniest little pink maiden hair fern, and it has the little pink edges. Look, read. That's so cute. Can you see it? Yeah. Oh. Isn't that great? Yeah. So the leaves come in pink and then they fade to green. <laughs> I know. It's my family. <laughs> Reed's doing dance. this. <laughs> I will take much better care of this one. I mean, it wasn't my fault that the other one got thrips, but I don't know, maybe it was. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was all your fault. My fault. I it, I purposefully wanted it you to You welcomed them in. Her. Wow, this is definitely my favorite plant that I own now. Look at this. <laughs> you can just hold it like this. You can just put it in your pocket and you go. Pocket succulent. You know what's better than a pocket succulent? Raven. Pocket cat. Little. Little wee wee. Look at your little feet. <laughs> Hi, we're back one more time. I have a very, very exciting plant in here. I will just tell you the story of it while I open it. So basically, someone in California ordered this plant. And it's assumed, because of how the plant arrived, that they ordered it from Ecuador. And it's not confirmed, but we do assume it's poached. Hi. We assume it's poached because they ordered the plant. It showed up completely without any roots to this person. 
um, like someone had just gone out into the woods and chopped it. Not woods. These plants don't grow in the woods. You guys probably already know what plant I'm talking about. I'm gonna save the big reveal for the new people. Anywho, someone was selling this plant in California because they ordered it a month ago from Ecuador and it just wouldn't grow for them, which is hilarious once you know what plant this is. This is a plant that's notorious for taking months to a year to even grow a little bit. So they said they had to give it the boot because it wasn't growing for them. Someone reached out to me because they know that I've been able to grow this plant pretty well. And they were like, do you want me to send it to you so that you can watch over this plant? Um, and I said, of course. The price that they were selling this plant for, not the person who sent it to me, but the person who was selling it, was $60, which is very, it's a very good price for this plant. A while ago when I first got this plant, uh, it was considered rare. I don't think it's considered rare anymore because the poaching has been so bad, unfortunately. But I I'm happy to have this plant to take care of it and look after it. If you see an address on the top of the box, it is my PO box, not my box. So here is this plant. And um, I gave him very specific instructions on uh, how to package this plant so it would not arrive to me dead. <laughs> so here is the box. And uh, basically what you can see is here is the cup that the plant came in. And then I gave him, well I didn't give him, but I gave him instructions on how to basically ship this plant best. So we have a, a, a brace here, which actually was not my idea, that was his idea. So good job, bro Derek. And uh, this one here to keep the box from crushing. And my, my thoughts were uh, this situation here with the two cups. So that way we don't have to like uproot it because it doesn't have roots, but the roots that it did get, uh, you know, are important. So we don't wanna mess with those. Let me get the cup off and then I will introduce you guys. Most of you already know what this plant is, you can tell. But um, I will introduce you in just a second. Anthurium Q to Q1C or Q to Q1Cis, it depends on how you want to say it. Basically, uh, as you can tell, someone just chopped up a load of these. So we have this. This is usually how you can tell something has been poached because it doesn't it doesn't have anything. It has a very thick stem um, and it has two nodes. This one which maybe came with a leaf when the guy originally got it. And this one aerial root right here. And then you can tell that the job was just crude. Like this part of the, the plant is rotting. And if this plant is gonna grow anymore, it's going to need to do a new growth point. So I'm not expecting this plant to put out new growth for the next couple of months. It could, it could also be from someone who grows them in their backyard in Ecuador, because that can happen. So like I said, we don't know for a fact that it's poached, but when just no care is put into plants like this, normally like you know endangered species like this normally it's just someone walked down to the wild and just plucked it and called it good <laughs> i just decided that i know how to grow these so it's better that i have them than some random person that's gonna see it because this plant is extremely trendy right now uh people really really like this plant because it's been making it it's been making its rounds on facebook for sure and uh, people don't really know what it is or where it's from. They just see, they're seeing this unusual anthurium around lately, so. This was sent to me by Kelsey. And she said that she wanted to surprise me with a second plant, but that she didn't have room. So she's sending me another plant next week. So we have another plant to look forward to, but this is, this is a plant I've never had before. This is Philodendron Grayzile, Graysile, Grayzile. Um, this is a plant, it reminds me a lot of uh, Peperomia polybotra, uh, but of course it's not. But I think it's got a really nice, cute, thick stem. Its growth is wild. It's got these massive, just like heart shaped leaves. And I mean, it's pretty incredible. So thank you so much, Kelsey, for sending me this plant. Here she is. Wow, 
That's so amazing. Kelsey does have an Etsy shop. You can check her out as Plante Treasures, which I will, you know, say at the bottom of the screen. I will also link it in the description. So you guys can go down there and find it. They are about 4.7 rated shop with 235 reviews and 850 sales. So if you wanna go check out her Etsy, you are so welcome to. She sells amazing shops. If you wanna get a gray style, Graziali, I don't know how to say it. I'm really sorry. I normally try, but that's like Graziali, <laughs> Graziela. Um, there is one in her shop right now and 50 people have it in their cart. So if you want to get it, go get it right now at the link in the description. And that's actually it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and tweet me at Play at Me Ashley. Let me know if you have any questions, comments, or concerns in the comment section down below. Please support me on Patreon. Link is patreon.com forward slash Play Me Ashley. If you want to send me any mail, uh, I know I haven't advertised this in a while, but I do have a P.O. box. It is at the very bottom of the description. You gotta scroll all the way past all the links to get to it. Maybe I'll move it up, I don't know. But other than that, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next houseplant section. Bye.